Great to have you with us on the WB Mason Post Game. Bob Lorenz and Jack Curry with you. Game two in Boston was a wild one, Jack. It was epic. It was high theater. It was a blockbuster being released in the theaters. It was unbelievable, and it ended up as an 11-8 Yankees win in 10. Yeah, whirlwind, topsy-turvy, back and forth. I could say that five or six times, by the way, to indicate what kind of game this was. But the Yankees are utterly relieved right now that they were able to get an 11-8 win in 10 innings. And, Bob, we should absolutely point to Glaber Torres' hit in that 10th inning because that was so big in propelling the Yankees. But I want to go back to the 9th inning because, first of all, it's Ben Rice mired in a 4-for-52 slump. He is able to double off Kenley Jansen. And then Grisham, he's down to his final strike. The Yankees are down to their final strike. And he is able to deliver a base hit that ties the game against a closer who has more than 400 career saves. So it was the Yankee closer in Holmes who stumbled last night. It was Jansen who stumbled tonight. And the Yankees, with all the struggles that they've had, Bob, against their arch rival, the Red Sox, to get this win, they're feeling really happy about themselves. And with all they've been through, they will go back to their hotel room tonight saying they're one game behind the Baltimore yeah. Orioles for first place. And you only have to go back to last night to know that it was not good as the Red Sox rallied from five runs down to win it 9-7. to seven. But tonight, the Yankees flipped the script. Plenty of leads and ties and 37 pages of highlights. So let's get to them because it was an exciting game. The Highlights brought to you by your local Ford stores. And Jack, right out of the gate, Yankees doing exactly what they wanted to do. 